Okay guys, this is a little lesson video for 4.4 and uh, the title is Using Corresponding Parts of Congruent Triangles. Um, this is a little bit of an extension to the proofs that we've been doing lately. Um, the last couple proofs, or the last couple days, uh, we've been doing proofs in which our last statement is usually just to prove that the triangles are congruent. So, uh, you know, we would prove them congruent by angle, well, I got them written up here. Uh, we proved the triangles congruent by side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. Now what we're going to do is once we prove that triangles are, um, two triangles are congruent to each other, well, what we're going to do is use the fact that the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent to prove that other parts of the triangle that we don't necessarily or uh, that we don't necessarily know or are given uh, we can prove them congruent so here's a little basic example of what I mean here so we know here that uh, uh, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF right um, because of side angle side. Um, actually, no, no, no. By angle, side angle. Alright, so angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. Alright, well, once we know that these triangles are congruent to each other, um, we can say, um, we can kind of conclude then that angle C is congruent to angle F. Notice how we're not given angle C is congruent to angle F, but we can conclude that they are congruent to each other because um, we already proved these triangles congruent by um, angle side angle. What we can also say that we are that we weren't given was something like AC is congruent to DF. All right, so we could say this right here. All right. And then we can also say, since they're congruent, we can um, we can say that um, BC segment BC is congruent to EF. All right. So we weren't given any of these um, in the given, but we can say that they're all congruent because we proved um, by angle side angle that the triangles were congruent. All right. So let's do uh, let's get Get, get going on some of these proofs. All right, so in uh, problem one here, all right, uh, we got two triangles and we want to prove, all right, so now we don't want to prove the triangle is congruent. We want to prove uh, KB, all right, this side right here is congruent to AC, all right, and so like all proofs that we um, that we start, we write down the uh, the given. So I'm going to say that angle KBC is congruent to angle ACB. All right, and then angle K is congruent to angle A. All right, because that's given. Okay. All right. Um, and so all of that is is filled in in, in our picture. Um, what we're going to do next is notice that um, we're going to be, we can say that uh, segment BC is congruent to itself. So BC is congruent to BC, all right, by the reflexive property of congruence. Okay. And so now I'm ready to show that these triangles are congruent to each other by um, uh, side, or I'm sorry, angle, angle, side. So angle, angle, side. All right. Put my tick mark back there. All right, so um, we're going to say that triangle B, K, C is congruent to, now be careful, I said BKC, so I went from the the one arc to the two arc to the th to the no arc, so I gotta do the same thing here, so I gotta say is congruent to triangle uh, CAB. 
alright? And they are congruent by angle, angle, side. Now, once I have, um, once I've determined that these are congruent, alright, um, I can say now, notice that uh, KB, alright, so KB is the side between uh, the one arc and the two arc, and so is AC. So those are corresponding sides, corresponding parts. So what I can say is that KB is congruent to CA, all right, which I needed, I'm sorry, um, let's write it just how we see it in the proof. Alright, so KB is congruent to AC, those segments are congruent, um, by CPCTC. Alright, so what is CPCTC? Well, it's just shorthand for um, uh, congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Alright, and you can see that, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Alright, so these are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles, so we know that they're congruent to each other. Alright, okay, let's do another one. Um, again, we're given two triangles here. Um, we're told that uh, uh, we have some given information here, so let's write that down. So we know that BA is congruent to DA, and CA is congruent to EA, and that's given. Alright, next step, alright, so um, in, the, in the last example, you know, re the reflexive property shows up a lot, what else shows up a lot? Um, is vertical angles in these proofs. So we notice that this angle is congruent to that angle um, by vertical angles. So this angle is angle C A B and that's congruent to angle E A D. Right, and those are congruent um, by definition of vertical angles or vertical angles are congruent however you want to write it all right now in statement three all right, I have enough information I've, I've, I've shown enough just by saying that those two angles were congruent to now prove the triangles congruent um, by side angle side all right and so I'm going to say that triangle, um, let's start at A. So A, triangle A, C, B is congruent to triangle um, A. So we'll start at A, then we go to C. So um, E would correspond with C. Notice how, how do I know that? Because I kind of go along the segment with the two arcs, or the two, um, the two, uh, slashes. All right, so A, E, D. All right, and that is by side angle side. We can say that they are congruent. All right, and now uh, we want to prove that angle C is congruent to angle E. Well. Angle C here corresponds with angle E. Alright, and so we're going to say that angle C is congruent to angle E. Why? Because um, corresponding parts, so C and E are corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Alright. Let's do one more. Oops. Okay, so here we're given that 
um, segment AB is congruent to a segment AC, and that M is the midpoint of segment BC. And we want to prove that angle AMB. So that's this angle right here is congruent to AMC, this angle right here. So we want to prove those congruent. All right, so let's just set up our uh, two-column proof. So we have statements, reasons, all right, write down the given. Segment AB is congruent to segment AC, and M is the midpoint of segment BC. And that's given. All right. What can we say next? All right. Well, we know that M is the midpoint of BC. So M, I'm sorry, so segment BM has to be congruent to MC. All right, so we're going to say that BM is congruent to MC. And that's by definition of a midpoint. All right. Um, so I only have two things here. I have this side, and actually I should denote this with two tick marks, because these are denoted with one. So AB is congruent to AC. All right. So um, I still haven't proved them congruent yet. Remember, we need at least three pieces. And so what's the third piece going to be? Well, it's going to be that um, segment MA is congruent to segment MA. And that's the reflexive property of congruence. All right. So... Now I'm in a position, I've proved that these triangles, I, I'm in a position um, to prove these triangles congruent. So I'm going to say um, that triangle uh, AMB is congruent to triangle AMC by side, side, side. And once I've proved the triangle's congruent, I can say that their corresponding parts are congruent. Or I can say that triangle, uh, I'm sorry, angle A and B is congruent to angle A, oops, MC by CPCTC. Again, that stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Right, and we can clearly tell that this angle and that angle all right, are congruent to our corresponding parts. If you kind of fold the uh, triangles on top of each other, you should see that those angles would match up. So those are the corresponding parts of these congruent triangles, so they're going to be congruent. All right. So... Um, with all of these, so if you have to use... If you... If you um, if you want to prove that the triangles are congruent to each other, you know, you end you would end with something like this, okay? And that's what we've been doing in the first couple sections. All right. Well, now if we want to prove like a certain angle or a certain side of the triangles are congruent, all right? We got to go one step further. We want to show that the triangles are congruent first. All right? And then use uh, the fact that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent all right, to, um, to prove whatever it is that we needed to prove. All right. So what I want you to do now um, is you go ahead and make up your, uh, your two column um, proof, uh, set that up and uh, do problem two uh, and see if you can knock that one out on your own.